folks. In this video, I'm going to talk about tokenization, which is a first and foremost important concept when it comes to building NLP based applications. Through this process, we will see how can we split the sentences as or words into individual tokens so that those can be used further in machine learning processing. So please watch this video till the end to get the complete details. Folks, this is Nitip welcoming you to AI University channel where you can learn all your favorite technologies like machine learning, deep learning, uh, AI, big data Hadoop, virtual reality and cloud computing. And you can acquire the related skill set in order to advance your career in these fields. This channel takes on hands-on approach to build AI-based uh, products and applications. So if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing to it. Or if you have already subscribed, then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications about the hottest technologies of 21st century. So tokenization is the process of segmenting or slicing text into words or sentences. Essentially, it's a text processing step which assumes splitting text into tokens such as words or sentences okay so you can use some kind of uh, simple separator to achieve this splitting but don't forget that there are a lot of different situations where separators uh, just don't work okay and when i'm saying separators i'm talking about uh, you know the spaces between individual words or comma okay or uh, dot uh, such and you know so and so forth so for example let us say uh, we have a dot separator for tokenization into sentence and it will fail if you have you know uh, abbreviations with dots okay another example is of blank spaces in english language so blank spaces alone are not sufficient enough for english to perform proper tokenization Splitting on blank spaces may break up what should be considered as one token as in the case of certain names. For example, uh, let's say we have a city named San Francisco or New York. So if you use uh, spaces here, it will separate out these uh, individual words into separate tokens and you won't be able to guess them meaning out of it okay so you have to have a more complex model to achieve good enough results. Uh, okay, and we use NLTK or Spacey NLP libraries to achieve some of the complex tasks, right? So without further delay, let me show you the Python code involved to perform that tokenization. Okay, first I will show you how to perform sentence tokenization and then later on I will show you how to perform the word tokenization. So let's start sentence, uh, let's start with sentence tokenization. Okay. So let me open my Jupyter notebook here real quick. So first of all, I imported, uh, you know, all uh, I imported this sent tokenization and word tokenization from NLTK dot tokenize. Okay, so this is the first statement. And, um, you know, I have uh, then used this sample text for uh, breaking it into sentences as well as individual words using these methods like send tokenization which will be used for sentence tokenization and word tokenize for word tokenization okay so this is my sample text here now in order to uh, you know tokenize the sentence i used uh, this method called sentence send tokenize okay this is the method send tokenize as shown here okay and uh, what I'm doing here is I'm just using this method and pass, uh, passing this text, which is the sample text, as an argument. Okay. And when I print this, uh, to print this tokenized NLTK sentence, uh, we can see that our entire paragraph has been split into individual sentences. So you can see that this is a single sentence which is separated by comma so cam comma is a separator for each an individual sentence here okay so this is the first sentence Th this entire paragraph has been broken down into individual sentences this is the first sentence okay and then next sentence starts from here because we have a comma separator here 
okay and this is ended here so this is our second sentence and this one is our third sentence okay so you can very well see that sent tokenize method has split this particular paragraph or text into individual sentences okay now let's move on to the word tokenization so let me scroll down so here you can see that uh, you know you will observe that this this is the same text which i'm going to use here as well okay and the method which i'm using here is word tokenize which is a method to tokenize uh, the sentence into words or paragraph into words okay and uh, again i passed the text as an argument uh, to this particular method okay and in the output you can very well see that the tokenized words are here okay so each of these single words are treated as tokens similarly above each of these individual words are called as tokens with respect to sentence tokenization and if we are talking about word tokenization then the each individual words are referred as tokens with respect to word tokenization okay so you can see here very well now if you see here you will observe there are few punctuation characters as well right so we have this invert uh, uh, you know inverted commas here then we have comma here punctuation okay so and so forth so we have several punctuation in this particular punctuation marks in this particular uh, to, uh, word tokenization list okay if we have dots as well here okay so we consider cleaning up uh, you know um, as well here which will remove all the undesirable contents we generally remove punctuation when punctuations does not bring additional value for text vectorization so it's better to remove punctuations after the tokenization step because doing it before uh, the tokenization might cause several issues so in order to remove punctuation i have uh, used a you know different uh, sentence here okay so this is my sample text and now i want to remove the punctuations from this particular sentence or text okay and the way i do it and uh, as i mentioned earlier it's always better to perform this uh, removing the punctuations after the word tokenization is done okay and the way i'm doing it here is i'm again uh, importing a library which is uh, uh, regex uh, p tokenizer okay from nltk.tokenize okay next i created the object of uh, you know uh, regex p tokenizer okay and passed this particular term which is slash w plus as an argument so here w plus uh, slash w plus matches one or more word characters and it is same as uh, you know uh, if you have already learned about uh, regular expressions it is same as this term okay zero to nine score plus so this particular term represent this in regular expressions okay so remember that now uh, and what i in, in the next line what i did was i just use this uh, tokenizer okay tokenize uh, underscore text dot tokenize and parse past this particular text as an argument to it okay and then printed the output here so if you see the output the in this list you won't find any uh, punctuation marks okay so this has already been filtered or the punctuation marks like hash comma explanation mark apostrophe all these are filtered out from this particular sentence or text as you can see here
all of the punctuations are removed here. Okay. So folks, this is it for this video. To conclude, I explained the tokenization in detail in this video and covered some of its variations like word and sentence tokenization. So let me ask you a question from today's video. When does it is preferable to remove punctuation? After doing tokenization or before doing tokenization? Please post your comments in the comment section given below so that I can get a chance to incorporate your feedback. You can also ask your technical questions in the uh, comment section. I will be glad to answer your questions. If you are watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel, consider clicking that little subscribe button. And in case you have already subscribed, then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever I will release a new video. So thanks for hanging out with me guys. I will be covering next topic in the upcoming video. So keep on watching. Thank you.